wanted to make a different video today. I had some fun, cute, nostalgia stuff planned. I wanted to do something fun, but no. Because I and like three other notable LOL surprise creators and fans and collectors and people interested in it are all in mourning today. Today, this week. Because Monday evening, oh my god, the decision came down from from the courts about the TI Tiny OMG Girls V MGA over the OMG over LOL Surprise OMG Girls lawsuit finally came down and again I didn't even know we were still doing this because why why are we still why were we still doing this I have all of it here um I'm mad I'm putting on more lip gloss I have it all here I did literally like I was sitting down to like write and work on the video I actually wanted to film today and then couldn't because I had to do this so lol I guess surprising deadline Rolling Stone and half my Twitter timeline reports that T.I. and Tiny Harris uh, won that fuck ass lawsuit essentially third times the charm I am personally convinced that Brett Kavanaugh did this to me personally because I've made too many I love beer jokes and now I'm being smited smited it is so deeply upsetting so I'll uh, link it in the card I guess but my original lol surprise dolls video obviously had a section for controversies in which at that time it I believe they were wrapping up the second like like they had done the first one it was thrown out I covered that in the video and then the first lol surprise video that I made I was like up oh, guys they won because it was a stupid lawsuit to begin with if you don't know what the context of the lawsuit is is that ti and tiny on behalf of their daughter zonique um who was in a girl group in 2009 had their likeness stolen and that their intellectual property had been impeded upon the first lawsuit gets thrown out because there were, um, and I believe Darling Dolls has a doll news video about this from so long ago. But the first one was thrown out because someone introduced the jury to testimony, essentially saying that what MGA was doing was cultural appropriation, which is, you know, a discussion for another day. Not an untoward discussion to have, just not relevant to whether these specific dolls were ripping off those specific girls because their crux is that their style their likeness was so impactful that they just had to rip it off a girl group a nepotism girl group featuring ti and little wayne's daughter and someone else i think one of little wayne's nieces somehow and like these girls are just like being funded by T.I. and his weird sex cult, allegedly, allegedly, I'm not going to jail, um, was so innovative. Like, and I was aware of the OMG girls back in 2009, but they were not a thing 10 years later in 2019 when the spinoff to <laughs> the, the LOL Surprise Dolls came out. Because MGA had been doing a bit of, of a wee bit of infringement with their Louis Vuitton poops because I believe in my Rainbow High Dome video I talked about how there was a lawsuit with MGA and Louis Vuitton a cease and desist being like a hey, stop that you're damaging our brand so like they're infringing I guess but they're infringing on much bigger fish who don't care I'm gonna continue reading from my script give me a second Okay, so the first lawsuit had been thrown out due to the accusation of cultural appropriation that wasn't supposed to be introduced to the jury, so the jury pool had been, you know, tampered with. So they were like, ah, uh, no, we'll, we'll try you again. Second time was won by MGA, and for some reason, the Supreme Court 
Brett Kavanaugh, when I catch you, when I catch you, Ricky, when I catch you, allowed it to be retried a third time. I feel like we are dancing around this double jeopardy question. This feels bad, incorrect. <laughs> it was tried a third time, and this time with the result from, and I quote from Rolling Stones, who I believe quotes uh, Daily Journal, the unanimous ruling found that seven, seven dolls presented from a total of 32 copied the, the OMG girls likenesses and trade and trade chess. And that's from Deadline. Somewhere was found, some were found to infringe upon Lady Gaga and Beyonce, which like, yes, Duh. I think I even have a TikTok in the pipeline that will come out in October where Miriam literally looks at a doll and goes, that looks like Lady Gaga. And so like, yes, but they're working with two different markets because someone who is buying a Playline doll for their child isn't going to see a doll released by Lady Gaga and buy it. That is a different market. It just is. A doll that looks like, you know, cribs aesthetic ideas from Beyonce. Queen Bee, we know we're not, we're not silly goose, we know what we're talking about, isn't going to, isn't going to take anything from Beyonce. I also don't think that these dolls are taking anything from those OMG girls except for they thought about maybe 10 years ago, 10 years, 14 years ago now, thought about maybe making a doll for them, but they weren't going to look like that and they weren't going to perform to that. They would have been pitched and branded differently. Let me take my business degree off. Yeet. Daily Journal reports that the jurors requested $17.8 million in real damages to Harris, T.I. and Tiny, and $53.6 million in punitive damage. What the fuck is $71 million <laughs> over, over a likeness from something from 14 years ago? And like I'm seeing like I've read some perspectives and there are some people who are championing it for like yay black people but like there are black designers who worked for MGA who made those dolls. There are black doll collectors who have nothing to do with them that are being affected by this. Um, and like I don't think that a couple that is running out of money because they're battling their own legal battles about what they may or may not have been doing consensually or non-consensually to people really should be applauded as something that is a good thing for the black community. But that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> oh. um, Harris's lawyer called it a standing up to MGA's bullying and misrepresentations. And to be fair, the owner, uh, Larium, Larium, he, he says and does some things that I do not think is best for the company and he cannot shut his mouth. But again, that does not mean that you take down and you, uh, you, uh, you know, you're accosting the livelihoods of other black people who work in this in the orbit, all the people who work in this, all the people affected by this, uh, which it remains to be, it remains to be seen what's gonna come of this. People were joking about, you know, how ONG is kind of dead and now, now it's really feeling like it. Ah. <laughs> this lawsuit is opening up the door for any quirky bitch uh, to, uh, to sue and say, this is my likely, this is my likeness. This is, I am the only person who dresses like a toddler, a teenage toddler. So oddly, I should be getting, you know, nearly a hundred million dollars, you know, a tenth of a billion dollars. 
<laughs> you can say anything in like huge words if you want, you know, context matters. Um, with modern fashion being so referential, that means fashion dolls are even more. They are double, double referential in their fashion. If you're, tr you know, following the trends on the internet and you see, oh my God, Sabrina Carpenter, and you see that Sabrina Carpenter is doing a, a, a Madonna homage, and you think, well, this is what the kids want, what do we do? And like, we're kind of seeing this with Barbie. Barbie has been able to skirt this by making absolutely horrendous, ugly fashion. Unappealing dolls that no one wants to buy with their ugly clothing. Except for when they're emulating like blonde, blonde, bland, beige mom aesthetics in their street style dolls, which I think the fashion is better. I still don't think it's great. These are all my opinions, by the way. This is a lot of opinion talk. Um, there is a lot of, there's a lot of fact in here, but there's a lot of opinion as well. Having been around since the OMG girls, the, the group, was running around with mindless behavior and the like and I just don't think that it is worth 70 I don't think it was worth the 56.8 or 53.6 million dollars in punitive damages I think 17 million is still excessive but like sure if you're gonna find them guilty find them guilty like they're effectively you know taking away like dopamine dressing from dolls at this point you know this is gonna end up a long-term problem i foresee this being like the the estate of the gay family um going after any r b song that kind of sounds like anything marvin Gaye might have sneezed at nearly 60 years ago um but that remains to be seen like the long-term problem with seven out of 32 options netting them 71 million dollars is crazy to me daily journal says 71 point 71 million dollars covers the profit made by those dolls over their lifetime boo bad take bad take bad take that's the end of my notes but um one thing i think in the daily journal article about this talks about how on the jury like they had witnesses come in and be like well if you were a fan of this doll would you have thought that that is such a minuscule in the doll buy market that's such a minuscule poll of people who could have thought that this doll was x y or z i am unquenchably it is like you're asking seven people to go oh well this thing did you think it could have been this thing yes well you're asking around around atlanta where those girls are from they might be local celebrities as compared to going into the wider scope you know leaving the south go as geneva from montana if they really think i don't love this yeah this one's gonna have a quick turnaround i'd actually already edited this week's video and like as I'm like exporting it I just like open up Twitter and they're like everything's exploded I'm like this sucks new video let's roll it around all right um that's it sad you know Christmas is coming up I wonder if they're gonna have to put the dolls on layaway <sighs> You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Megan underscore flesh underscore. Uh, links in the bio now. Um, my original LOL surprise videos will be uh, the playlist, I guess. I'll attach a playlist to this end card, I think. And I don't know, man. I'm trying my best. Bye.